Hey guys, it's Dave with Tactical Hive. And today we're going to talk about some of the pros and cons of everyday carry and position. There's no shortage of opinions out there. There's no shortage of opinions on where to carry for EDC or what to carry for EDC. What I'm going to tell you is my opinion and why I base that of it. And I'm going to use vehicles as one of those. So I'm a proponent of uh, appendix carry. Right? There's a lot of reasons outside of the vehicle, but in this instance here, I'm gonna talk pros and cons of the appendix versus the three, the four, and the five from a vehicle. And again, keep in mind, this is you're coming from whatever area you're operating in, back into your vehicle and in and out, so you probably are not changing positions of your gun as you're doing these things, right? Um, but here we go with the appendix carry inside of the car. All right, so we're in the car now. I'm carrying appendix, my seatbelt's on. You know, if I have to deploy my pistol from this position, you know, even with my seatbelt on, I can clear the garment and get the gun out nice and easy. It's right here and it's ready to go, should it be needed, right? All right guys, so here we are again. Uh, now I've taken the appendix carry EDC and I've moved it to the three o'clock position, right? And then what, what you'll notice out of the gates already is where I had the lap belt and the shoulder belt coming together at one junction at the same spot also where my seatbelt comes together. If I don't have time to clear my seatbelt or I can't, I'm already fumbling trying to get into position and clear the garment at the same time to get here and pull. You know, I can probably clear it pretty easy from here, but you also run the, the risk of coming up into your seatbelt. You have to, rem to, to pull it out. So already as I'm moving off the appendix, it's becoming more and more difficult for me to employ my firearm should I need to. All right, guys, here we are. Uh, we've <laughs> moved it from the three o'clock position now to the four o'clock position. And you guys are already gonna know what the problem is here. I'm literally sitting on the handle of my, of my pistol, right? And I've got all these other things. So. You know, we're not saying we see something coming, hey, something causes us to have to react to defend ourselves or our loved ones, right? And at this point now, I'm having to, to get that pistol out, I'm having to kick my hip over, clear my pistol, and get it. Look how much more uncomfortable and hard that is. So I don't, I'm not a proponent of locking my pistol into, into the back of my seat. What I will see a lot of guys that, buddies of mine that carry at the four o'clock or four o'clock or three o'clock position is when they get in their car, they'll pull out and they'll have their pistol somewhere pre-staged or they'll have a pre-staged holster in their car and they'll just move their pistol from that holster to this holster as they move in and out. Again, it works for them. It's, I'm not a proponent of it because I don't want to be in a parking lot handling my firearm going from here to there. I just, you know, I'd rather, it's concealed carry for a reason. I don't want to keep pulling it in and out. So that's uh, my opinion. What's your opinion on concealed carry when it comes to vehicle operations, you know? Are you a proponent of something different or do you have experiences uh, of your own? We'd like to hear about it. So please uh, give us your comments, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks guys.